Welcome back. I'm Mike with the Turntable Teachers, and class is officially back in session. And we are back with another Right Mind edition of the podcast, a round two with producer B Leafs for Beats with B Leafs. If you guys missed the first one, we layered some drums last time, and we're back to chop up some samples this time. So I'm looking forward to building building this beat that we've uh, we've already started. And as always, a huge thank you to B Leafs for joining us and doing this and giving us uh, this tutorial. And uh, how you doing tonight? Good, sir? Good, brother. Appreciate you having me on. As always, you don't even have to, you don't even have to thank us at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're a part of the team, bro. So, yeah, we're here. We're back. Uh, more to Right Mind Tutorials through our podcast and uh, looking forward to. So, of course, uh, if you are new to the channel and new to the podcast, be sure to subscribe, leave us a like and a comment. Definitely uh, let us know if this helped you out at all and what tips maybe you have for other artists. We're just kind of here trying to educate through music and educate on how to do these things. I don't know. Otherwise, I would show you. And that is really why b Leafs is with us. So that way he can take us through it and all that because uh, I don't have that that skill. But uh, yeah, so anyway, <laughs> just make be sure to uh, follow us at Turntable Teachers and subscribe to our podcast streaming services as well. Uh, and yeah, without further ado, we are going to jump right into it, I think. And Beliefs, uh, the, the rest of this time is yours to show me how you would chop up a sample. Perfect. Yeah, so I'll just run through the beat really quick from last time in case anybody missed it. Pretty simple um, and I just downloaded a sample earlier that I figured we'd take a listen to so I'll solo that we'll just take a little listen keyboard set to chop so when I like when I chop I like to do it live um, so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit let it play and as it plays I'm gonna chop the pieces that I like
so that is a good little selection right there. We got uh, mostly that main part around here. Um, you know, it doesn't hurt to have a little extra to work with. So I am going to highlight that and convert them to a new sampler track. So now they're all going to be thrown into an instrument. And, and I can play them on my keyboard already lined up, ready to go. So. Now, when you chop it like that, or when you cut it, what are you what are you listening for? That would be my that would be my question. Mm -hmm. Good question. Um, so, I mean, I'm just trying to get a rhythm going when I chop it, and chop it in a certain pattern. Okay. That pattern, uh, it could be you know in different pieces of the song. It just depends like what you're kind of hearing. Okay. Um, you know, a lot of the times I'll like chop it on like a note like a new note where you know where I hear like a the bass come in or like a certain instrument start you want to kind of like have nice um, even chops but sometimes you just want it to be kind of a messy and just take random little pieces it just depends whatever you hear so I mean yeah you know 10 producers could have the same sample and chop it all different you never know got it okay so, I've heard the same sentiment too from other pro like producers. People talk about it where like you could have a bunch of different producers that would chop it differently. I never kind of understood what that meant, so now that kind of makes a little bit more sense. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just all about you know what you hear and uh, kind of how you want the rhythm to go in, in a way. So some people chop them really small. Some people take longer pieces. And for me, it all depends on the sample. I could have a sample where I'm chopping it every one second or every you know five seconds it just kind of depends so when but, you in my last question with yep. that in particular when you decide how you're going to chop it or like do you try it in a couple of different ways or do you like kind of hear it once and know how you're going to attack it or do you do it a couple of different times a couple of different ways to see or is it ever just kind of like yeah this is how i want to do it and i'm just going to just dive in uh, dive into it usually i just dive right into it and then okay. i play it and I'll, I'll make it work but sometimes like i you know, start playing it, and I'm like, ah, I don't really like this, and then I gotta either rechop it, or sometimes if the sample's really long and there's the same part two different times, maybe I'll chop the first one big and the second one small. Oh, just okay. kinda, yeah, it just variety. kinda depends, but got it. I okay. think we got enough here to work with, so. Sure. Um, yeah, let me, um, let me turn this over to the keyboard. Nice. So, I am going to mess around with it, so I'll play the drums. And then when I go into the sampler, I can tune it. mess around and play with it a little bit.
I'll lay that down. You know, sometimes I'll lay a bunch of different pieces down and they might not all work, but you know, you can edit it after. Duplicate it, and I'll drag that over, and let's see. down Last one felt good, so I'm gonna just wipe out some of that. Let's see. back at it, see what fits where.
know, kind of rearrange the track a little bit um, and try to, you know, just figure out how to start it off and where to take it. So, I mean, I'm thinking the kicks to start will be good. So I'm going to paste them at the beginning. That's how I do most of my beats, I would say. Start off with the kicks, maybe bring the hi-hats in. Atmospheric, kind of like floating around. Native 
Instruments has uh, some really good plugins, so we'll throw this one on here. And then we have um, the other soft tube one on the other one, so it's nice to mix them up a little bit and use different um, plugins for like your chorus versus your verse, you know. So, I mean, that's essentially it. Nothing too crazy. Um, you know, for me, I think it's easier to put the drums first. And then when you're playing the sample, you can kind of work around the drums. And you already kind of have your pocket aligned. And it's just kind of about filling in the gaps, I would say, a little bit. Um, but some people, like, want to make the melody first and then fill their drums in. There's no right or wrong way to do it, you know. Um, but, yeah, pretty simple. Cool. But this is a way to do it, of course, is what you're mentioning. So mm -hmm. um, very cool. I, I love it. The, awesome. I, I, I really like the way not only you sampled it, but then once you got it down, like how you sort of played with to get like some like what you used to get some of those like sharper notes out of that was really cool. I could mm -hmm. really hear the difference afterwards of how much cleaner it sounded once you had done that. Yep. Yeah. So that's the EQ. So, you know, you can kind of see it's like a visual like spectrogram where you can see like where the notes are poking through you just kind of you know tame them down a little bit so they're not like punching through and really like you know jarring your ear mm. um but yeah i mean you know no crazy um effects either really it's just you know some compression some eq some reverb a little you know tape um emulation as well and i mean it's yeah i don't go too crazy um if I was going to release it, you know, maybe I would, you know, sit with it along a little bit longer and kind of throw mm -hmm. some more like advanced stuff on there. But, um, yeah, for just making a beat and sending it around and stuff. Yeah. Um, nothing crazy. All right. And that was chopping up a sample episode number two with, uh, with beliefs. And, uh, that, that was awesome. I'm really excited to see, or I, I, I'm really pumped to have seen that progression from the drums to now the sample. Uh, if what would be like the final last step if 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 there uh with with this with a beat like this if you were uh to to get it out to maybe the next the next uh you know phase of of the beat um i mean for me that's pretty much it right there i just you know drag it out rearrange it do like you know a chorus a verse a chorus of a uh, verse whatever and uh mm -hmm. yeah um uh, pretty simple um if I was going to release it, like I said, you know, maybe do a little bit more advanced uh, engineering a little bit just to make the levels a little tighter. But mm -hmm. um, I mean, I think that sounds good for now. Great. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple. I love it. <laughs> Beats with Beliefs, everyone. He uh, just showed us how to create our, our very own beat. I like, like that a lot. That was really cool. Uh, thank you so much for doing this and uh, being a part of the Right Minds series. Comment below on another, you know, producer you want to see, especially from the local scene. Like, who would uh, who would you want to see on the show to uh, come down and, and show us how to how they produce a beat and how they make a uh, make a beat? Or as well, comment on who would sound good over that beat that Beliefs just made too. That could be a cool thing as well. Uh, who sound who would sound good over something like this? Yeah. So definitely want to hear from that from you guys as well. 
Of course, follow B Leafs on Instagram at B underscore Leafs and uh, check out all the stuff he's been doing. He's got a brand new EP sort of or like singles yep. that are compiled into an EP of some sort. Yep. Uh, it is out now. Uh, Intentions and Rain uh, are out are out now featuring Kasky, Teddy Andreas, Alma Cook and Shadi G. And they all sound fan and they all sound fantastic. Super, super uh, excited for you and what you got coming next in 2021, man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you showing the support. Of course. Um, it's glad to be glad to be a part of this. And yeah, I'm really excited to hear what other producers uh, are going to cook up too. Yeah, this is really cool. This is You, you kind of kicked off Beats With and uh, it definitely starts off with you. So thank you so much for doing this and being our sort of inaugural uh, uh, person to get this, this, to really get this thing going. Anytime, so, brother. I'm, I'm very, Anytime. I'm, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank well, I hope you. you guys enjoyed this. And I'll be on the lookout for more Right Mind content. Make sure you follow us at Right Mind on Instagram as well, W R T M N D uh, on Instagram. And we do Right Mind Wednesdays every single Wednesday, Instagram Live. So great uh, interviews that are already out on Instagram now. Make sure you join us every Wednesday, whether it's myself, Michael Settle, or J Faith. Uh, we will all be, you know, kind of a bit more of a carousel of hosts and a plethora of different guests. So uh, totally make sure you check us out there as well and without further ado i'm mike this is beliefs with the turntable teachers the class is officially dismissed